So today I'd like to look at the negatives of having property through a trust. And don't worry, there'll be another video about the positives. So the negatives of owning a property through a trust is firstly, you've got to set that trust up. Now, when I set one up for myself, I've got to pay 500 bucks to ASIC and $110. I use Legal Edocs, but there's lots of them out there and I'm not recommending that one in particular, but it's $610 is my setup cost. But if you're doing it for the first time, typically you'd use an accountant and then they will charge you their fee. And that could be an extra 500 bucks or it could be an extra thousand bucks or it could be whatever they feel like charging you. Just be mindful of the fact that the actual cost is a lot lower and don't get sucked into overpaying. Uh, the second cost is the ongoing cost of that trust. Now the physical costs are the $276 a year you have to pay to ASIC to keep the company registered. And then one of the guys I work with, he pays $110 a year to his accountant. I pay $330 a year to my accountant to do mine, but that's the kind of range that you're talking about. Of course, if someone says they wanna charge you, I've heard $1,000, $1,500 a year, tell them they're dreaming and uh, <laughs> find one of the guys that, that we work with and see if you can get a better deal. The other big negative with a trust is that you might have to pay land tax in some states like New South Wales and Victoria. So you should always have this conversation with an accountant about is it worth paying the land tax versus not paying the land tax. But in other states, it's actually the reverse. So understand it's state-based and you really must get advice from an accountant to figure out whether it's gonna be worth it or not. So they're the main negatives. There'll be another video on the positives. My name is Max Phelps. I'm a money coach with Golden Eggs. And remember to always be genuine, have fun, and stay curious.